Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The George Show. I am your host, George Hutumi, and uh, let's see, uh, for today's uh, program, I am going to talk about my favorite TV show of the summer, which is, no, it's not The Bachelor, it's America's Got Talent. So, um, so I'm going to review last night's acts and uh, maybe even make a few predictions about who will pass to the next round tonight. I, so let's begin. Last night we had 12 acts as we do every week uh, in the semi-finals. Uh, let's begin with act uh, number one, Innovative Force. So Innovative Force were the, these group of girls from Missouri. They're like uh, little girls from like age 8 to 19. Um, so uh, I thought they did good. Okay, Radio City is a huge stage. They had a lot of people and that helped them because um, the stage will dwarf you unless you have a huge group, and they, they just got lucky. Um, plus, their moves were okay. Um, they obviously know how to dance and do those acrobatics. They've been choreographed proficiently, so I think they did uh, pretty good. Um, Another act that performed last night was Ciara Pelikai, an 11-year-old girl from um, Hawaii. She sang, uh, she's a singer. She sang uh, Emily Sunday's song, Next to Me. I thought she did a pretty good job, but uh, not an excellent job because a song is not excellent. It's a pretty good song, but it's not excellent. So she did the best she could, but she should have picked a better song. Uh, after her, we have uh, Alexander Megala. Now, Alexander Megala is a funny guy, okay, because he comes from Moldova. I know something about Moldova because I'm reading a book about the Balkans right now because I come from the Balkans. I come from Moldova. Actually, no, I come from Albania, but it's somewhere there. So, uh, so he's my personal favorite. Uh, uh, no, actually, I I don't I don't really like those dangerous acts where people swallow swords and stuff, but nevertheless, the, if you're gonna swallow a sword, you better do it good, and I think that the degree of difficulty of his act, climbing up a pole with a sword down your lungs, that's that's a pretty ballsy thing to do. So, um, it was good in that sense. Other than that, I I was not overly happy with that act. It was just all right, you know. Um, so, uh, let's see. Now I'm going to talk about Struck Boys. These are a few, like, gangster-looking kids. They're like it, mobsters, like mini me's. They're like, uh, uh, they're all like Italian Americans, and they love to eat pizza. I made that up. Everybody loves pizza, so they danced to a medley of music. I thought the medley was great. They uh, they had Florida, a pretty good song from Justin Bieber, and so whoever put the music together did good. Uh, the dancing was uh, again. It was. It was okay. I had no um, no complaints. Uh, 
it held my attention. I was not particularly enthralled, but uh, it was just okay with me. It was, yeah, not a lot to say about that. Uh, and then, and then after that, uh, we had uh, Brad Byers. Brad Byers is a 50 something year old daredevil. Uh, uh, if you could even call him that, he's really a madman. Uh, he he does all of these danger acts. Last night he laid down on the bed of nails and had his brother drive over him with uh, a moped. No, uh, what do you call those? A, a four-wheeled moped. What are they called? Uh, um, I can't I, I can't uh, remember what they're called, but it's a four-wheeler, like a motor scooter. It weighs about a thousand pounds. Nevertheless, he pulled it off. He was not crushed to death. And then he um, he gets up and uh, the judges all complained that, you know, Brad, you had absolutely no showmanship. You Sure, you pulled it up, but there was no excitement. And I agree. Uh, the guy is... Uh, he's not made for the stage. He's just a uh, weirdo, but not really a showman. Doesn't have that star quality. Okay, um, so now we moved past the 10 o'clock hour. I am sad to report that I got sleepy and I had to go to bed. So I didn't catch the remaining acts. But that wasn't really my fault because NBC should know better than to bump their best show at 9 o'clock. It should be at 8. Okay. I mean, at, anyway, um, so if uh, that's my personal opinion. Well, anyways, I'm going to predict who will go on. Due to the fact that I did not see half of the show, I cannot predict who will make it out of those six contestants that I missed. Uh, oh, wait, I, I forgot to mention Kid the Wiz. Okay, so Kid the Wiz is some street punk out of uh, the Bronx. Uh, he has this hat trick where he throws his hat and lands on his head. Unfortunately, he failed to get it on his head all the time. Certainly, we have to deduct points for that. Plus, he was kind of disoriented looking. And uh, I just don't think he's there yet. Uh, he needs more practice. Uh, so... Nevertheless, uh, out of those two acts, I think that uh, out of all those uh, six acts that I mentioned, I think Innovative Force will go on to the next round. Uh, because, mostly because little girls vote a lot. That's what I think. But <laughs> uh, I don't have any stats. That's pure conjecture. And probably Kid the Wiz will go on because uh, I don't know why I didn't like him, but I just have a hunch that he might just go off. So that's this episode of The George Show. Watch America's Got Talent tonight or not. Uh, and I'll see you all next week.